Hi, Scissorin here, and this is going to be a video about how I set up my stash tabs and the affinity system. So first off, let's talk a little bit about parent leagues because that's very important for this video. So if you are going to be playing softcore Scourge, then you want to set up your st uh, stash tabs on standard. If you're going to be playing uh, solo cell phone Scourge, you want to set up your stash tabs on SSF standard. You get the idea, right? You get what the parent leagues are. And if you're going to play hardcore trade league, then set it up on hardcore. So we'll go to SSF Hardcore. That's what I'm going to be playing in the upcoming Scourge expansion. And everything I set up here will be copied like for the, the mold. I don't know what you want to call it, but it'll, it'll copy the setup of my stash tabs. So let's look a little bit. So I have my first tab here as a um, just my currency tab. Now, quite often what I will do is I'll drag out a quad tab to the start just so that I, at the start, don't have to worry because um, I'm picking up loads of rares and whites and stuff. So maybe I just want everything to go directly in here for like shitty items like random four links and stuff I might be keeping. That's just my day one tab. Now, other than that, I will have a currency tab and this will have the affinity on. And what this means is that if I take 20 ults out and try to put it in a different tab, it'll go instantly in here. So this is a really, really good system. You really want to use this. And then I have a folder and to make a folder, you just click create new folder. Uh, and then it'll be like, oh, it instantly did that with the tab. So in the folder, I have a bunch of dump tabs in the start. It's basically anything. And then I'll sort them later. And later on in the league, like two weeks in the dump tabs end up being, these are useful items I'm keeping for other builds. I will have a unique tab. Um, I don't actually personally like the unique tab that much. So I use a quad tab as my unique tab. Uh, this changes from league to league for me. And sometimes I'll change my mind on it. But basically the reason I use a quad tab is that with the new tab, I, 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 it's, it's like dropping your water wallet in the sea. I'll forget what items are in here because there are so many. Whereas here I'll be like, oh, I have a Biscuit's leash. I can make a build with that. So I, I really like at least early on keeping them in tabs like that. I have a, uh, S for special. It has delirium and metamorph. I don't really want to spread all these. Like I quite like having these here. And then uh, another dev tab with, for example, watchstones and stuff like that. We have a crafting tab, um, which I need to switch. I'm going to be adding. So I have an ID6 plus, an 84. And these are for influence bases. So shaper shields, uh, crusader shields, etc. And 84 is just, you know, like 84 or 86 uh, status garb, two stone rings, etc. for crafting. We have an essence tab and that has affinities on it. Map tab with affinities on it. I have a fossil tab. And you could put these in folders too. I don't. Uh, I don't want to go into folders all the time. Uh, we have a fragment tab, oil tab, uh, and all of these have the uh, respective affinity on them. Now, I do say with affinities on the map tab is actually worth mentioning that, for example, elder maps, I will not put in here because the search function is very often broken where you have to have actually visited the sub one for elder or blank uh, to appear of the uh, of the ones that have like if you have a normal map, I'm not talking about actual black maps because they will go in here. I'm talking about like if you have a, a promenade where it says contains a blight, whatever, right? That won't be like searchable for it with blight unless they fix it, which I think they've tried to do a few times, but it's, it's really annoying. So those special maps, I will normally keep them like here, for example, uh, or, or in a quad tab here. Uh, same with like delirious maps, elder maps or elder guardians. Uh, dropping them in here honestly feels like fucking losing your wallet in the sea and you're like, ah, I'm not finding that. It's gone, Jim. Div cards with affinity. Um, L, this is for leveling items. Sometimes I turn this into a quad tab. This will basically be things like a really nice Stooge and Vice, Hypnotic Jewel with spell damage while dual wielding, just really nice leveling items. Seventy Step, Gold Rim, um, items I would want for leveling a new character. A Plast tab, unique tab that I don't really use. Then I have a tab of tabs because I played Tempest League and in Tempest League there were no quad tabs and I bought way too many normal ones. Uh, and I used to have multiple currency tabs. So all my like spare tabs that I don't like. You see, I do have the Delirium and Metamorph tab. I just don't really use it and I don't really like it. So I don't use those, uh, even though I have them. This gives you like a rough idea of how I've set up my maps. And it's really, really nice uh, to have it set up like this. If you're wondering about what stash tabs to buy, generally a at the weekend of or the weekend after launch, there will be a sale 
off stash tabs and this is when you really want to buy it i i, I kind of feel like peewee's well not not straight up pay to win but kind of in a way uh, but at least Path of Exile has limited pay to win, right? If you spend a thousand bucks on PoE, you're an idiot. You're not gonna, like, get any in-game advantage out of that, right? No one's gonna spend a thousand bucks on stash tabs. I don't actually want to know how much I've spent on stash tabs. Might be too close to that. But either way, the, the most important stash tabs to buy is the currency stash tab, the map stash tab, and the divination card stash tab. That's the ones I feel give you the most amount of value. You ideally want at least one quad tab. And after that um probably fossil and fragment and then they become less and less worth i would say the unique stash tab is incredibly worth in terms of space it's really good if you want to be a hoarder um but those are the ones i recommend honestly and if you can only afford one the currency stash tab is like the infinite value one in fact playing without that would be hell so that is a, a quick video about tabs i hope you guys are excited for the scourge league i know i am and uh yeah i hope you guys are enjoying all the content Sub if you like all the content. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And uh, the most important thing of all, try to die less than I do.